hello, my podcast people, and thank you for joining me for yet another episode of my favorite podcast. Today, we are breaking down my supplement stack. I feel like I should have worn, like, a shirt that shows that I have, like, some muscles, but either way, here we are. Uh... This episode's dropping Thursday, July 6th. Happy July. I said that last episode. I'm saying it again. Happy July. But first, a review. I like that I've been doing this. Hopefully you enjoy it. I would love to read your review. So feel free to submit one. This one's from Dr. Emmy NYC, and it's titled The Best. Love Shantae's honest, real thoughts on how to do business differently. So many podcast hosts repeat the same old things that can make a biz owner feel guilty if they are not following these practices. An example would be like batching your content. Shantae gives the other side of the coin on how to do business that works for you. It's a weekly regular listen on my list. Dr. Emmy, thank you. I chose this one. Because it's very meta for today's episode. I am talking about my supplement stack. That's not related to online business, but I'm doing my business my way. I received this as a question from my girl, Stephanie Hine. She's one of my favorite humans in the whole world. And I've actually brought her on the podcast, brought her on the podcast twice. So Courtney, thank you for linking that. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'll do an episode. And this question that she asked, she asked about creatine that I use and the protein the question she asked, she was like, I already checked on your website to see if you had an episode. And I was like, this is why I love you so much. So if you don't know, folks, you can go to the website, themovementmaestro.com, and there's a search bar. So when you, can go to, when you get to the website, you'll see on the homepage, there's a button for podcast. Click that. It'll take you to the podcast page where all the episodes are. But I have almost 500 episodes. And I know you ain't trying to like scroll through all of that. So there is a search bar. If you're on your phone, this be at the top now. We've moved it. Thank you, Joe, my website guy. Lex and all of us went work together to get that squared away. Uh, but there's a search field. You can put in whatever topic you want, and it will take you, it will show you the results for any episodes I've done, along with any other um, blog posts. I do have some blog posts on there um, that may be related to that that keyword. Um, and keywords can be more than keyword can mean more than one word. Um, So if you're like, hey, do you have an episode about this? Go search there, right? I strategically put that on there so that you can find what you want. So Steph asked about creatine and protein. So I figured I'd answer that and maybe throw in a few bonuses because I was like, I can't make a full episode about that, but I can make like a short episode if I throw out a few other things in there. So as relates to my supplement stack, I'm all about simplicity just in general, but Definitely when it comes to supplements. I don't take a zillion things. Basically, I've been using the same few things for a zillion years. Um, and also, this episode is not about the research. I'm just sharing what I use. Do your own research. Right? I take. I did my research, and I'm happy with where I'm at with things. And so do your own research. So right off the bat here, the creatine that I take, the brand is True Nutrition. I first heard about that brand from Aaron Straker. Love him. Really trust him. And I like that brand because it's, it is simple. There's no other bullshit. There's no fluff. It's basically white labeled and you can go and make your own uh, mixtures, if you will. I can't think of the name. Um, I, I also use them for my protein, but you can decide if you want to put other things in it. You want to put boosts and things like that. I just use regular, regular creatine. Um, for those wondering, creatine, number one thing it does helps with ATP production. We've all heard of ATP. Gives you the energies, right? Short-term um, energies. If you want to learn more about ATP, excuse me, if you want to know, know, learn more about creatine, we will link a NASM article and also a Tactic Nutrition post, post. Tactic Nutrition, those are my girls, Meredith Root and Alex Parker, her wife. Um, they are wives, well, I guess we'll say. That was a, if you're watching the video, you see like I, did, I did like a timeout gesture. That's weird. I don't know why I did timeout gesture. Pretend I didn't do that. Um, but we'll link those things if you're like, hey, I want to learn more about creatine. But I have taken creatine for years. Um, basically, there's no reason not to. And I don't cycle on and off of it. There's no need to do that. There's no need for a loading dose or anything like that. Um, I put it in with just anything that I drink because there's no flavor. That's one of the main reasons I take this one is that there's no flavor. It dissolves easily. Simple to use. Um, pre-workout, I don't take any. I've, I've dabbled with pre-workout in the past. It always makes me itchy. Beta alanine ain't good for me. So if anything, I'll take, drink black coffee or a Celsius. That's it. Um, Celsius is an energy drink. Sometimes it'll happen throughout the day. Um, but yeah, it'll be that. And yeah, I yeah, I'm I am putting this in my supplement stack. I didn't say it was like this a natural stack or anything like that. Uh, the protein I use, again, the company is True Nutrition. I use their 100% RBGH slash soy-free whey protein isolate. 
I get the French vanilla and I also do the cafe mocha. Uh, you can make whatever flavors you want. You can choose how much of the flavoring is in there. You can choose if you want to put like ashwagandha and shit and other shit in there. Like I love the company. I love what you can do there. Um, everything is just simple. There's not like a million other things added to it. And that is why I go with them. Next thing that I take is electrolytes. And the company that I use is Element or it's actually spelled out L-M-N-T. Um, I do partner with them. We will drop that link. If you use the link, you get a free gift. Um, it's just like a, a multi-pack of them. Uh, but it's really helped me out with leg cramps, like significantly helped with that with leg cramps, especially in the summertime. Um, I don't really sweat that much, but I do sweat a little bit more in the summer and then my shit gets fucked up. So um, that's going to be my, my daily... They also send me so much, not going to lie. So I, I take at least one, drink one, I drink at least one a day and I will put the creatine in with that. My favorite flavors, citrus, which happens to be like the, the actual like label for it is green. It's like a maestro green uh, and also the grapefruit. But the grapefruit's seasonal and it always sells out. So right now when this drops, I may, when this episode drops, Maybe it will still be available. I don't know, but that is one of my favorites and it is a limited edition. They bring it back every year. It sells out every year. So yeah. Uh, next supplement. I also take collagen. I do believe that it helps me out. I'm not trying to grow my muscles with it, but rather help out my little ligaments that I got. I started taking uh, collagen when I hurt my MCL and I hurt my knee uh, last October. And I've just kept taking it. I'm, my body feels good and I'm like, why not? So the brand that I use is Vital Proteins. I can get it at... Costco, yes, they've done away with the plastic plastic scoop that comes inside of it, but I don't care because I already have a zillion of them, so I just use one that I have. Um, I also take vitamin C. That's just the Kirkland brand because I also got it at uh, Costco during the time because uh, Dr. Tina and another guy that I follow, I can't remember his name, was just like, hey, zinc and collagen, excuse me, zinc and vitamin C, the building blocks for uh, collagen. And so I was like, well, let me get some more of that. So I take that pretty much daily as well. Coffee-wise... This is, in my opinion, I consider it a supplement because I drink Strong Coffee Company Black, um, their black coffee. You use the code Maestro, you save some money. I brought Adam, the CEO, the founder of the company, on the podcast. Courtney, if you could link that episode, thank you. Um, but I drink it black. I only drink the black. They have like lattes and stuff. I don't like those. I only like the black. And the reason I'm considering it a supplement is because it does have ashwag ashwagandha, not ashwagandha. I think it's ashwagandha. Uh, it has L-theanine. It has MCTs. And so I do consider it to be a supplement. And I drink that pretty much daily. Um, I don't get jitters from it. I've never really had an issue with coffee. I can drink it at night and I won't get anything, but I like the taste. Um, and yeah, I, I am a fan of it. Lastly, topical CBD. Um, I brought Allison Evans on. She is the co-founder of Fringe. And they are a, I don't want to say they're a CBD company. They are a um, lifestyle company. They are a Fringe company. Um, and the name is Fringe. I've also promoted, um, they're, in, they're in the red light space. And largely just being fully transparent, it's because it's hard to be in the CBD space. The way that advertising works and the legal things around it um, even though they are doing everything ethically, everything legally, they are going above and beyond to make sure that the purity and what's actually in this is listed, but it's, it's, it's a difficult business to be in. So um, they've expanded and are doing other things that, um, moving into other spaces that help out with, with people taking care of their own health. And really big, what they've pushed into hard is the red light space. And I, I love that as well. But as it relates to self, I guess we can consider red light a supplement, but either way, we're talking right now about topical CBD. Um, that has always helped me actually. And I know some people are like, it's bullshit. And I'm like, well, I feel better. So you don't have to use it. Um, they also have um, a dissolvable CBD, dissolvable, tasteless, odorless CBD powder that I know people get benefit from and people feel things with. I do not. And largely this is about the endocannabinoid system and whether or not you actually need it. Um, I have historically had good results with using topical CBD. Um, now this, this brand, especially for this brand for, for Fringe, they're Mysa Cool. They have regular mice and they have a Mysa Cool. The Mysa Cool has been more helpful for me. Um, my girl Kiana, I brought her on the podcast. She used to have a topical CBD that I loved. And then during COVID, she stopped selling it. And I was like, well, fuck me, right? Uh, so I have been using as needed fringes topical CBD. They're mice are cool and it does help me out. 
All right, so that's like the main and the only like actual supplements that I that I take. I told you it's not an extensive list by any means. I want to add in here just the food part of things. Right, that's the best supplements we have. Like eat good food. So uh, of note, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I eat the same breakfast every day, and that's because I want to front load the day and get a big meal. That, get like my biggest meal then. Get a lot of protein in with that meal. Um, and it's the same. It's just uh, mentally, I'm like, I don't have to use energy to think about what am I making today? It's just like, I'm going to make this every day. So I have one egg and a half a cup of egg whites, sometimes three quarters of a cup of egg whites if I'm really hungry, but it depends. And feta scrambled. And then I do, I'm going to call it crisp, crisped spring mix. It's not really sauteed. It's crispy. It actually tastes like, you know, if you were to make kale chips, it's crispy. Um, and I use av avocado oil to do that. I have some sort of berries, usually strawberries, because the raspberries have not been looking good, folks. Uh, and I have turkey bacon, and I have one to two pieces of toast. I've been doing Ezekiel, uh, what is it, cinnamon raisin bread, and I toast that in the pan. And I put ghee on it and salt. That's my breakfast every day. Same, same. And it's like, I don't know, I did the math of it, I don't know, 40, 50 grams of protein, something, something appropriate. I was happy with it. For the rest of the day, I also like to make my shit simple and consistent. Company that I, a company that I love, the Chicken Pound. If you use the code Maestro10, you save some monies as well. Um, they send chicken that's already cut up, that's already seasoned, that's already cooked, and it's frozen. And it comes in one pound packages, and I will just devour that. It is pricey, but... I'm all about I'm all about paying for convenience, and I'm not above paying for convenience. So that's one of my favorite things to do. Um, I also shop at Costco, and I will get a bunch of the Great Range brand bison, and the I think it's pronounced maybe Bibigo. I don't know Bibigo pre cooked rice, and I'll make that together. It'll be either, either be chicken pound, or it'll be chicken. I should say from the chicken pound. I only like the balsamic chicken. I don't like the other ones, but it will either be chicken and rice, or it'll be um, bison and rice. I call it bison, excuse me, ricin. Um, of course, that's bison, right? I call it ricin. And I chop up an avocado, part of an avocado, depends on how big it is. Add lime juice, lots of lime juice on there. That's the secret. I put the lime juice on, put salt on, and there's my meal. I call it minute meal because it literally takes me three minutes to make it because it's a minute to cook the chicken. It's a minute to, or heat up the chicken. It's a minute to make the rice. And then I just got to chop the, the avocado. Very, very simple. Uh, so that's the food, my food part, best supplement that's out there. Eat food, eat simple food. And then lastly, I told you in the little intro part, my skincare routine. I know this episode is totally, I don't want to say it's off brand, but it's like, what? Create the things that make you happy, folks. Listen to your people. What are they asking for? Y'all asked for this episode. Lisa Stephanie did. But a bunch of you ask about my skincare routine, which makes me laugh every time because you're kind of joking, but I know that you're also like, but like, tell me. Uh, number one, it's being black and Puerto Rican. That is definitely a big part of it. But in terms of what I actually do, I use Dr. Bronner's. I feel like people, as soon as I said that, people are like, what? Excuse me? Yeah. I use Dr. Bronner's soap. I have like a little, like one of those little face cleaner things. I'll link it in the, in the show notes. Thank you, Courtney. And I use the Baby Unscented 18-in-1 soap. <laughs> and I put that on my face and I clean my face. And then I also use Blue Moon Elise Deep Moisturizing Body Oil, Luscious Lavender. Um, I started using that, I don't know, maybe last year. My skin gets feels dry in the winter, and especially if I'm using Dr. Bronner's, so it's like kind of makes it dry. Um, and so I asked my girl, Andrea, she's Seasonal Andrea on Instagram, I was like, based, she's really into Ayurveda and things like that. And I was like, based on my dosha or whatever, I, I'm not even sure of the words, but I was like, what would be best for my skin? I'm currently using, what was I using? Some other type of oil. I've always used oil, feels better. And I was like, based on what you know about me, what would be best? And she was like, actually, probably an almond oil. And I was like, well, I'm going to go buy that then. But where can I get that? And she was like, you can make it. And I'm like, and she was like, I know you ain't going to make it. Uh, so she recommended this brand, Blue Moon Elise. Maybe it's her friend. I think it's her friend. I'm not really sure. We'll link it in the show notes. Um, I use that. I put it on my face. If it's body oil, I put it on my whole body. Um, and that's it. But I've never had like a special soap or a special routine or a special lotion that I've used. It's being black and Puerto Rican. And this next part, having minimal stress. 
right? Good genetics, lots of collagen in there in the tissues, and minimal stress. I get a decent amount of sleep. I'm usually going to bed around 10 30, 11 30, sometimes it really depends, but I don't wake up with an alarm. Rupert wakes me up, if anything. Um, you know, I don't have a stressful life, folks. I love what I do, and I don't have any kids. I'm going to say it. I live where there's palm trees. My life is really good. Um, so that definitely helps out with the skin. And I did an IG Live the other day, and that was one of the questions. Like, what's your skincare routine? And my, my girl, Cousin Takesha, was like, as someone who, you know, uh, did makeup and skincare and things like that in the past, I can tell you that stress and your diet play a big role. And I was like, yeah, that as well. So there you have it, folks. I know a little bit of a random episode, but you know, let's see, it can't hurt to switch things up every now and again. And it's my podcast, so I'm going to share what I want. And I want to connect with you. I want to provide the things that you want to be listening to. And so Steph reached out and asked, and I'm more than happy to create an episode. If you have a request, you have a question about something, by all means, reach out. You can DM me at The Movement Maestro. You can text me 310-737-2345. It will be green, but I promise it's me. It's my sideline. Um, and I'd love to, to do an episode um, if I can come up with enough content for a, for a full episode. So thank you for the reviews, Dr. Emmy. Special thanks to you for this episode. Thank you all for listening. And that's all I got. Until next time, friends. Maestro out. <laughs>